Eric of LAM. And uh, LAM is basically, I'm just going to give you a, a little bit introduction what LAM is. LAM is a basic, uh, is a startup. It's a fast tech startup and we are an emerging uh, marketplace um, in, and pro we provide um, Pakistani and Southeast uh, East Asian fashion to the global clientele. So um, I will. I would like to, you know, Sandra made so many important points and I, with her experience and everything, I know um, I wanted to move forward with the same points that if you want to uh, empower women, it's very important that uh, women are at a position in politics uh, where they're where they're making rules where they they're changing the laws that they're they're, uh, they're part of making the policies and you know uh, when they're on the top then they would know what what is the requirement currently in everywhere globally everywhere even in, in america they, we have been fighting a lot to get the woman a uh, president but we, we don't we didn't get the you know even pakistan had a woman <laughs> <laughs> leadership but yeah america still is so backward that uh, they can't get you know they cannot appoint a woman president so um if the women are on top they would know what other women need and that is the point uh, that is what we actually need women making laws and uh, policies for women currently men are deciding uh, what should be you know for the women and they they do know obviously but not uh, to an extent the problems of the women that uh, that they play uh, they actually face in workplace environments in social environments and mostly workplace environment and the hierarchy usually does not let women go up higher because they don't think they're capable so this needs to change and this will change if women can get into politics so that is that is one point that I really loved about you know that the Sandra made made. Moreover, <clears throat> on a very personal level, um, I am in the fashion tech industry. That is fashion and tech technology. So on my end, we have been trying a lot because it, uh, this whole industry is predominantly uh, women based uh, you know industry. So uh, we want to empower women uh, in our own capacity. And what we could do is um, collaborate with brands, which are female-led brands, and uh, we, we can encourage, we usually encourage women in, who are housewives to come up with creative designs. And if they have the production capacity, then they can actually display their um, their uh, collections, their uh, creative uh, creativity and everything on our platform, on our marketplace, and we get them orders and sales from uh, clientele all over the world. So this is how we are doing in our capacity to empower women based in Pakistan. And we want to, you know, move forward and help out women in Southeast Asia as well. So um, sec secondly, the point that I wanted to make is since I am one of the co-founders uh, of LAM, I made sure that um, we have departments who are uh, who are led by some strong, young, energetic women. Um, and uh, departments like growth and even the warehouse, which is a very male dominated uh, department, is led by a woman. So, yeah, that's what we are trying to do, achieve uh, in our own capacity. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Farhan, for introducing me. My name is Larif. So um, I am in education system from past nine years. And uh, uh, I guess we are the first TNE uh, education provider in Pakistan, the Millennium Universal College. And uh, TNE uh, is a transnational education system. Uh, it's, called, it's a borderless education system. We basically offer uh, programs from uh, uh, UK. Uh, so we have the University for the Creative Arts on board. And uh, we offer programs from University for the Creative Arts in Pakistan. And we have almost like seven uh, campuses uh, in Pakistan from different cities. 
so um thank you so much farhan for uh, inviting us all and uh, definitely it's a great platform and, and for the women um uh, for uh, and it's very uh, important and needful at this time because uh, um uh, we just had uh, a women day on 8th march and uh, uh, i have seen a lot of a lot of improvement on our linkedin uh, and on social media as well now women are celebrating that uh, this is our day and now we are celebrating that women day so that was play right really fantastic for our women uh, empowerment as well so um i agree with sahar and sandra so uh, definitely we do participate in politics and the point sandra raised uh, before that to only political family and the background they have uh, specifically for the women so they only can participate in, in the political uh, uh, leadership or maybe in the political side so no uh, one from uh, a middle class or from a uh, family which uh, uh, and even uh, families they don't support their uh, daughters or they may be their wives to participate in politics so i guess that mindset needs to be changed now and uh, government should also like give uh, that platform to the women that so that they can participate even uh, a lot of uh, like now i have seen a lot of uh, difference now uh, that uh, a lot of women they are now joining different uh, ir degrees now they are participating now they they have joined uh, policy making policy making degrees so i guess you know on from the, on the platforms from the universities they also should like uh uh like give an idea to a uh, a woman even we have a student council but every time every e year the president uh uh jo elect hota that, that is a boy so i guess that mindset starting from that education system should be changed why because जब शुरू से ही वो चेंज नहीं होगा तो दैट इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर अस एज वेल एंड फॉर द वुमेन एज वेल बिकॉज शुरू से ही हमें यही बताया जाता है कि वी आर वुमेन सो हमने एक लीड नहीं करना हमने सिर्फ सपोर्ट करना है स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम होम एज वेल लाइक आई हैव सीन अ लॉट ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट्स हु डिड देयर डिग्रीज इन आर्ट एंड डिजाइन व्हेन दे केम फॉर एडमिशन सो देयर मदर्स यूजुअली केम इन एंड दे सेड uh lare please uh, uh we don't want them to like start their own career or we don't want them to like join any company to work we just want them to just complete their degrees and then they will be getting married soon right so that president of like or that that pressure of like getting married in like in your 20s should be changed as well yeah Hello everyone. My first of all, it's wonderful to see all the women around me doing such good work, and thank you so much, Farhan, because I really had no idea that around me there are so many empowered women doing such amazing work. So I'm a lawyer by profession. I graduated from UC Berkeley. I worked in United Nations for one year. Not. Then I came to Pakistan. I set up my own law firm, but my core purpose was to start the research center. I have been working on. the past three years but as it has only been a year that initially begun and the purpose of research center was to encourage female lawyers in the profession to come forth and litigate and to do the research work like just to encourage them whatever they want to do basically we are involved in making policy and legislation in reforming and legislation any policy or any legislative process we see is not working very well or has some loopholes we sort of make reports on them and we we started to make short films so the masses or the majority of the people who understand the concept as well of what are the what are the important public interest uh, facilities that need to be changed in pakistan so that's what we do basically and we have majority of female uh, lawyers working with us which is very rare in pakistan so i just wanted to add that uh, sandra sahir and nadeep they all talked about the fact that yes it's very difficult for women to start their career especially when they want to enter into law or politics such non conventional careers which are considered dangerous for women because 
the first thing I heard when I told my parents and relatives that I want to do law was that, uh, you know, how would you go into the courts? It's such male dominant society, and it's such male dominant field like that. And, you know, the way I dress up and everything, it's not very conventional Pakistani way. So there are a lot of criticisms. Then I started teaching for this very purpose. And I keep hearing, so it's been five years I graduated. And in this five years, I've taught almost four batches. And I keep hearing the same things. So I think there is some problem still lagging that if from four years we are hearing the same thing, there has to be something that needs to be changed here. So, uh, so that's the whole concept and purpose of the research society as well. Because my students would come forth and they'd say that they have been told that they can get a degree, but they won't be allowed to work in the profession or in the field. So I think the major uh, encouragement starts from the home, the parents, and then it comes on forth through the society. When you talk about the society, you obviously have to talk about the male figures in the society as well. Because if you don't have their support, I don't think any substantial change is going to come forth like that. And Sandra, I joined you in between. At the point you raised, I've been trying to focus that on each and every talk of mine, that until and unless you educate and make men aware in the society, there is no, there's not going to be actual women empowerment like that. So I really appreciate the point, and it's it's you know it's also sort of in a weird way it's comforting to see that the different parts of the world are dealing with the same issue. So you know we get to the point that it's uh, it's a, it's a universal. Issue. It just does not occur in Pakistan alone. So I believe that once you start working together, once women like us they start encouraging other young girls or young women, I think that's how we'll be able to bring about a substantial change in the society. Uh, thank you so much, Ali. I am extremely, I feel extremely honored and privileged to be a part of this platform where such empowered women are here today. Thank you, Sandra, Rosina, Lareb, Samavia, Amina, and Sahar, and a few others that I am unable to see right now. Uh, actually, uh, when we talk about women and International Women's Day, it's an international phen phenomenon. I would like to shed some light on International Women's Day, and then I would be moving towards uh, it in the context of Pakistan and all over the world. So Women's Day has become a custom like every year now and celebrated for the women around us. All these women deserve respect, love, care and happiness. No, no wonder where in which part of the world we all are. The empowerment of women is a great responsibility that all us women need. The world becomes a better place when we women don't feel the hardships to exist in all fields of life that we endeavor and enthrall on. For many years and many years, women have faced several difficulties in their life, in personal and professional life. Earlier, this role of women was limited to household chores. But as the era is progressing, everyone, including some women, uh, uh, were brought up to believe that the role of women is limited to the household chores. Due to this belief, women don't go out to work or, you know, thought about going for work earlier on. However, this thought already has changed after a few decades because women started trying different things and uh, women began realizing that they too can have careers in the future. More and more women began taking up jobs and work in many sectors of the economy. So the scenery of world for women has changed over times and decades when we talk about it now. It has mainly happened due to the efforts of all women in the past who have immensely worked for uh, the women empowerment that we face nowadays. Now there is no space where women aren't working, like in every field they are, and excelling and thriving at what they're doing. Women do manage a number of things at the same time, like they're multitasking at the same time, be their mothers like Sandra uh, uh, explained herself that she's working from 2007 and the struggles that she went through. And uh, women are being given equal opportunities at work all over the world nowadays. They're given the freedom to move ahead of the opposite gender and women are running ahead of men and leading their respective companies in the direction of success. The construction and uh, that they have towards society has immensely increased. Uh, I myself am associate director of, uh, of corporate research investigation and I have my own company as well. Its name is uh, Consult NG Private Limited. It's a consulting firm. So I myself am looking at two different dimensions nowadays like uh, being the director of a company 
company and looking after my own consultancy along with that putting on i'm a certified trainer and a coach and a psychologist as well so these are a few examples of the women working all over the world and how how they have been empowered through the years the saying that women run the world is coming true as every year passes and women everyone around everyone around the world is changing the world by contributing contributing immensely to the society that we are working for they are working hard and breaking the glass ceiling around the world uh because the women is no longer dependent on dependent on a man for her financial needs and a women independent women like us like we are on this platform we really need a man who should be there to provide financially for us but rather we would be looking for a man who is uh emotionally supporting us and mentally supporting us and physically supporting us throughout our endeavors um a women nowadays she is independent and strong enough to take care of herself and it is a change that give women around the world the freedom which makes them financially independent they're self confident and uh, we all are and try to push all the boundaries required to finish our jobs be it the 9 to 5 job or or the consultancy that we part time have so international women day is a day in which which is celebrated 8th around on 8th march all over the world this is a day in which we pay tribute to all the women who have be their, their mothers be their sisters be their uh professional speed they daughters it is a day where different movements and uh, march happens all over all over the world around the world it is a day with the most changes one of the reasons for protesting and uh, some countries do protest for the liberation of women all over the world there are still countries i mean when we talk about the underprivileged countries nowadays where women do not get the equal rights but i'm privileged that of the on is all most fighting this dilemma and fighting this stereotype nowadays in these countries the underprivileged ones uh, the role of women is limited to household chores even out and uh, however this needs to change because women deserve equal opportunity at everything like men pardon if i'm disconnecting i'm on uh, my way to as work even now the world is moving towards achieving gender balance pardon if i'm disconnected because i'm on my, on my way until even now the world is moving towards achieving gender balance and it's moving towards equality for both men and women uh, uh the change is something that that is needed and is essential nowadays for ages men have had at the to reduce in every sphere of society however if that needs to be changed to be because we are all are human and we should all get equal rights and opportunities uh so uh the, that's uh, all what I, i had to say for that pvb today i'm going to and uh i'm here now for that thing i have to say uh, that i'm putting my session on the beat in pretty much i'm sure we can empower the remote pulling assalamu alaikum uh, thank you so much uh, farhan for inviting me uh, first of all uh, i would like to you know uh, put a light on like what actually we need to do uh, on this women day every year we celebrate women day uh, but the thing is you know we need to 
actually extract the positivity what positive things we need to do for this day like uh, every year we just do the you know uh, the orat marches or the walks or uh, the protests or something like that but what productive needs to be done uh, what positive needs to be done for this uh, on the government level on the district administration level on the police level um for example what we did is like uh, we um uh, established our proper uh, you know women counters in the deputy commissioner office uh establishing women counters reason for that because uh before like before this if you if you go back if you if you go a year back uh, there was there was uh, no lady staff sitting in the deputy commissioner office of the capital to assist or to accommodate the females that are coming uh, that female some some females some ladies they are not comfortable in speaking with the male officers uh, and uh, we what we did was like we established a proper counter in which there is a lady sitting even even if you not just a counter even if when someone is entering and someone wants to meet the deputy commissioner uh, for her uh, problems for her issues for the resolution of the issues and she is not comfortable walking alone inside the deputy commissioner office outside the office there is a lady sitting there is a lady officer sitting who need, who assists them uh, who asks them that if they have any problem if they have any personal issue that they, they cannot tell the deputy commissioner that they cannot uh, uh, speak with the male staff they tell them and the, that lady then uh, conveys the issue to the relevant officer to the deputy commissioner to the assistant commissioner or whatever uh, the issue she is facing for example divorce certificates uh, any harassment complaint anything like that so uh this needs to be done all over the pakistan you guys should raise the voice that all the district administry at all the district administration level all the dc offices they should do this they should copy this and they should uh, you know create proper facilitation desks for the ladies for the women same is the case with islamabad police what we did in islamabad police was miss amna beg she was uh, um, asp before when it was established during the time of uh, the previous ig qazi jamil rahman we uh, all sat together what idea we gave was like we established a gender protection unit gpu and uh, that gender protection unit was like uh, you just you know there the, the domestic violence uh, any uh, rape case any harassment case anything that uh, is hap- the, any wrong thing that has happened with the lady uh, with the female uh, what uh, you know in that uh, we 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 established one number it was 8090 the female any 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 female any lady that is facing any such problem she just needs to call 8090 and then what happens is lady police officer along with the whole team the lady police officer reaches that place and she rescues that uh, lady that female and the proper case is registered the case is being fo- been followed followed up properly and uh, uh, we make sure that uh, the, the 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 person the culprit he is arrested and a proper fair trial is run against him uh one more thing was established that uh, any harassment complaint that previously uh, you know uh, th- th- it was necessary it was mandatory for a, for a female or for a lady to show her identity what we did was like we established a proper telephone number in the deputy commissioner office any 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 person any lady who is facing such a uh, complaint any harassment complaint for example in the market in the in the public while she is driving she is roaming around the market she can call she can call the deputy commissioner office she can directly reach to the dc and we make sure that her identity is not revealed and action is being taken against the culprits so you know telling all this initiative the basic reason to tell all the initiatives is we all should we all should you know uh, raise this voice that this should happen all over the pakistan third thing uh, using the digital media we have addressed more than 4 to 5000 complaints using the digital media using the twitter using the facebook using the instagram this is the digital world uh, what we need to do is we should we should we should start such an initiative that uh, uh, you know in the in collaboration with the district administration in, in collaboration with the government what we should is, we should start this that using the digital media for example i received 
a complaint from Rawal Pindi. Uh, it was not my in 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 Islamabad. I had no contact with uh, the Pindi administration, but still I received a complaint that a girl she is attempting a suicide and uh, like there there is uh, like she is not opening her, up her door. She is not speaking to anyone, and she wrote a last note on the Twitter. Like she posted a tweet like this, and uh, someone tagged me. Uh, because they know that when they tag me, I I directly inform to the deputy commissioner, and he he takes action for that. Someone tagged me, and case was of Pindi. Uh, good good of the Pindi police that they I sent the case to them, and uh, they intervened. And within twenty five to thirty minutes, they reached the uh, they they found the they traced the girl. They found the girl, and they reached their home, and they rescued her. so using the digital media we can do a lot of such things we can take a lot of such good initiatives and we uh, can prevent suicides we can pre- prevent rapes we can prevent uh, the harassments uh, it's not like uh, on us that we can prevent that but we can create aware- awareness uh, regarding digital as, as ali farhan is doing such seminars this should be increased this should be you know done on uh, on the national level we have the halls here available in islam but we can we have uh, i can offer you the conference room of the deputy commissioner office we can arrange such seminars here uh, last time ali farhan was here but we couldn't make it because the schedule was was very busy but we can we can arrange such seminars and what needs to be done is like on the school level on the college level on the university level you know we need to teach the children that what's right what's the do's and what's the don'ts how the uh, you know the the some people i don't call them actually human some animals they actually how they manipulate the minds of the people how they you know uh, do this these bad acts and uh, what is the cause behind all of this how to stop all of this how to prevent all of this we should arrange proper seminars conferences in the schools colleges and the universities uh, we have to uh, teach our children on a very young age about the good touches and the bad touches it's not being done anywhere in some schools we did the seminars and we you know we we did it ourselves that we we told them we taught them the dc taught them the dc uh, addressed them that uh, what he teaches is on children in in this time that what's what's good and what's bad what are the good touches what are the bad touches not just for the girls for the young young boys as well you know the, this this needs to be promoted uh, some of the parents they are doing it but some uh, most of them what they are doing is they, they they are hesitant to speak with their children about this thing and, and then uh, like after a year after two years when they grow up and some bad things they ha- that happen with them and then again they uh they they are they are helpless at that time so we need to we need to do this we need to promote this and uh, uh, you know uh talking about the islamabad administration talking about the islamabad police talking about the media i am here for for any kind of help that you guys needed uh you guys want to participate you uh, for awareness you want to uh, go on some tv channel you 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 guys uh, want to do some seminars in the collaboration with the islamabad administration or any government level i am here for the support you can uh, uh take my details from ali farhan i am always here so that's from my side any questions uh ali uh, ali i would want to add something for ayab and ayab i'm really grateful to uh, have you on this platform men like you and ali are rare to found in the society nowadays when we talk about it uh, so when you when we talk about organizing seminars and things in islamabad i'm a corporate uh, trainer myself and okay. i to this pol- uh, platform i'm volunteering whenever you need a speaker or a trainer for your platform or uh, any public awareness session you can collaborate with me and i'll be uh, rendering my services free of cost for that uh, i have my consultancy as well and my company as well i'll be available for both thank you that's that's great. what yeah. we can what, what what we can do is like uh, uh, we we all can you know arrange a seminar in some university uh, any any university you guys can pick it yourself the where where it's needed the most any college or the, any university we can write officially uh, using the district administration's platform we can write the letter and they give they always give us the permission to uh, you know speak in some, in such uh, awareness programs or anything so i can do that it's available whenever you want you just uh, let me no we we can arrange that 
Yeah, we sure we would. Uh, I would uh, love to have this seminar since this month is Women's Month. Let's have yeah. it somewhere by the end of the week. The by the end of the month or maybe in next week. I'm all ready for that. That's okay, great. So, um, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I wanted to add something. I wanted to yes. ask something back. So we have been doing. You've been doing a lot, and uh, I don't know if I am. Uh, I'm not aware, but most of the things that you mentioned, I was not aware of them. which means that we are doing seminars we are doing zoom calls we are doing webinars but the most in hand digital uh, device that people have and of all ages is a mobile phone and yeah. digital marketing is crucial if you are doing all of these steps and we don't know anything like i while you were talking i just did a quick search on the google on human rights on women rights what what rights do i have in pakistan and all i ended up with were some clauses from un some researches and things like that so basically women who participate in women march i don't know i think half of them don't even know what their rights are on the streets exactly so people are working on this but women are not getting aware so what we need to do is we need to have a mass uh, promotion of what the rights are in engaging digital advertisements that we do for polio we do for you know vaccinations we do anything on fm but we're not promoting the rights so it's like you are doing policies and uh, samavia i also wanted to ask you how how many women that come to you are actually aware of their basic rights like like you just mentioned that you can call 8090 and you can just report something and yeah. i have women in karachi drive and feel harassed all the time so how how do no so this is this is this is just for islamabad this is in the domain of islamabad and that is why i have requested you that you guys should also raise the voice that this should be replicated all over the pakistan uh, uh, like every every district administration has the authority they have the power to do this so why not like especially in the backward areas in fata in baluchistan in kp in baluchistan where where the women they are very very reluctant they they cannot raise their voices so this thing is necessary there in the capital it's done and it's working alhamdulillah we we, we are uh, you know we have a lot of success cases here in pakistan in islamabad so this needs to be replicated and that's why i'm saying that we all should raise the voices i cannot do that because they'll 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 think that uh, you know we are we are just promoting Hi. our stuff but you guys can raise the voice for this <clears throat> okay i would add one that's a wonderful question you asked because i was about to comment on this one thing after you um, ayab if i'm pronouncing your name correctly you yep. mentioned you're doing an amazing job you're doing a wonderful job and i know so many lawyers who are working on human rights as well but each and every client female i get they are so unaware of their rights they are unaware of these procedures that have been taking place so you know that's one gap why they're afraid to come forth to a lawyer and actually convey their problem because they don't know they have these rights they are still relying on the fact that all people do in court is they keep on the hearings and it's very male dominant and only the powerful can win the case so i think Uh, the, and the core purpose, like I'd like to offer my help as well. Like Neem Gopal said, the core purpose of my research society is to raise awareness to such women. Now we were writing a lot of papers and reports for that, but who reads them? To be honest, even I read them after writing. If they're pages long, so we've moved more towards social media. Yes. Now, yep. Yeah, and in social media, then again, the posts we make and we write, nobody reads those posts. So we are making yeah. short. we are making short uh, dramas or uh, short stories because you need to look at the audience or audience is obsessed with drama and movies films that want to so that's what we are doing after those short films the first one is on domestic violence and it's going to be produced somewhere around the end of this and def i'm definitely sharing it with you guys before i upload it so i can that as well so what i'm saying is that after that we will hold the talk kyunki uh, you know i'm sorry sandra uh, so once you hold when once you make them watch such thing it creates a huge impact on them people are obsessed with drama they are obsessed with tv shows they become so addicted to them they want to know what what's happening that and after mm. such if we hold these discussions uh, uh, like once the uh, topics engraved in their minds after that we hold this discussion i think that going to be way more fruitful than holding all those 
formal and taboo uh, seminars because to be very honest i know my cousins my uh, probably my mother my aunts and all of them, they, they don't care about that i'll be very honest they are not up for holding those formal seminars so the basic we need to understand our audience and then create awareness of those rights so with all of your collaboration whatever seminar you want to hold or i can do i'm always here for help but uh, i would be like because after hearing such fruitful discussion i would definitely want your guys feedback on the short film and the discussion as well because when people from different profession collaborate i think it's most fruitful because uh, i'm sure all of us just remain very stick to our professions only and the same kind of feedback comes forth and you're not actually able to make a substantial uh, one one more thing samavi i would like to add is like uh, the, you know you actually uh, uh, pointed out the right thing that we need to work more on the digital media and especially on the videos on the short videos because people watch that what i can offer is like um, uh, i have a whole digital media team number one they can help uh, boost that secondly we have a page on facebook that is office of the deputy commissioner islamabad you can put the you what you need to do is you just need to put put a logo of the ict administration in that in collaboration with that and i can uh, use that page to promote that video and that page has all almost uh, 3 lakh plus likes on that and we can do that uh, so that it can be it can get boosted it can get mo um, uh, more more uh, traction with the people <clears throat> yeah and no, thank you i think that would be amazing if we can do that in collaboration i think that's actually going to create an impact that's i also wanted i also wanted to add that the point that sandra raised is basically the key to everything that creating awareness in what men think because if you go back to everything uh, who are who, who is the basic reason why women are not openly talking about their issues men their fathers their brothers their spouses then why are the women not comfortable uh, on on the streets on anywhere because of their fathers their brothers and their spouses so what we need to do is basically we need to not uh, what we are doing we've been doing short stories and plays and uh, sessions and videos on showing the violence on showing what is happening in harassment on how to save ourselves but what i feel like doing is uh, we should be investing more time into showcasing how a brother would secure and support his sister in putting up a case against a person how a mm. husband would support a person a wife to give a shout out when she's been uh, harassed on the street mm. rather than telling her to shut up and keep it in the yeah. mm. so what we need to do is basically we need to show what we want our our males to learn our kids to learn our boys to learn and they need to know how they want to support their fellow class fellows in college they need to learn how they need they should secure their university fellows they need to learn how they need to work with their you know uh, the corporate associates so they need to learn the etiquettes which nobody is teaching them our mothers would say yet this is your brother he has more privilege than you he can mm. do this you cannot do this so it's coming it's coming down all to the point that sandra raised and i totally 100% agree that we need to focus on the male audience and then to train them to know what the etiquettes of treating women are I'm really, I'm really tempted to unmute myself because this is the basic issue. Um, my name is Fatma, and I live in Oslo, Norway, and I'm an artist. And you know, I'm also a representation of my country. I feel that we are all safire, apne apne mulko ki. We are all ambassadors of our country. We are representing our culture. We are repre representing our people. And this is what my work is all about: representing my art, my culture through my art. आपने जो बात की आमना एंड अयाब आई कम्प्लीटली अग्री विथ यू इट ऑल स्टार्ट वेर डिड दिस प्रॉब्लम कम फ्रॉम वी आर एम्पावरिंग ट्राइंग टू मेक आर मैन अंडरस्टैंड बट हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फ्रॉम फॉर रेजिंग दैट मैन हैव वी आइडेंटिफाइड द बेसिक इशू आई एम अ मदर ऑफ अ सन माई सन इज गोइंग टू बी टेन वेरी सोन इट इज माई रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू टीच हिम वॉट्स राइट एंड वेट्स रॉन्ग येस इट इज माई रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू टीच हिम दैट नो मीन्स नो it starts mm. from home are we are we really doing something not right are we being hypocrites because we expect the outside world to treat our daughters right but we are raising a son who may be pampered because he belongs to us i yeah. want to raise a son tomorrow that your daughter will be safe with and i really want to make sure i really hope i'm doing it right 
we are expecting um, um, a police department and conferences to make this difference. But what we really need to focus. I have. You have talked about it. I have said. You know why are mothers so hesitant talking to their children? Why? Why are we only teaching our daughters uh, that this is a good touch and this is a bad touch? We need to really, really teach our sons. Yeah. And uh, I do feel living abroad. Um, I'm going to share something. I I came across with with the community that I came to know the Pakistani community, and it became it became a discussion. But I was a part of that discussion that uh, you know it is okay that you know we need to be very careful with our daughters because we are raising them in a country like Norway and X Y Z, and I, I I just couldn't resist and say you know it's it doesn't matter whether it's a boy or a girl or a son or a daughter. Mm. I feel I have a more responsibility in the society because I'm raising a son. It's just mm. how men are portrayed, and uh, absolutely we need to. we need to raise this awareness amongst men yes. more than women because women know what they want yeah. and and completely um um amina and samavia had um where the, the if we understand the problem where the problem is coming from the concept of the problem i i think the issue is already halfway out there and yeah. i'm really and i interrupted you both but you know i was very very right about it and one more thing i would like to add is uh, that if uh, i've i've uh, you know uh, uh, some few months back i was on ary news and i i uh, addressed that as well that when something happens uh, for you know even even i i met uh, boys and the girls both reason is that in, in especially here uh, we we receive both cases you know for young boys and for young girls as well so we receive both cases for that you know but the thing is that parents or the guardian you know he or she give such space to her son and daughter both ke agar kuch aisa ho jata if something happens like this to itna ho ke they 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 should tell you aap ko inform kare yahan pe masla ye hai ki the girls or the boys if if some harassment or any uh, sexual harassment happens to itni space hi nahi di hoti ki wo apne parents se baat kar sake na so this should also be you know the part of this awareness ke parents itni awareness de bachcho ko itni itni space de apne bachcho ko ki agar in case allah na kare aisa kuch ho jata hai to at least wo apne parents se share kar sake aur jab wo share nahi hota to uske result mein we receive the suicide attempts we receive these type of things theek hai to hame ye thing bhi karni chahiye ki hame space de ke bare mein bhi awareness karni chahiye ki itni space de अगर अनफॉर्चुनेट इंसिडेंट हो जाता है तो वी शुड वी शुड बी यू नो सपोर्टिंग द डॉटर ऑफ द सन एब्सोल्युटली um ali can i in- can you hear me ali can you hear me yeah acha ali and i have i just want to uh, tell one thing like regarding right, right now we were just discussing that how can we aware the women that what are their rights and if something wrong or any kind of incident is not about only uh, wrong 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 like anything which you want to know that what your rights are this or that the social media is not the only uh, platform or like it's not the only platform which we are thinking that like you no know, everybody is on social media and they get the awareness <coughs> through this only the one thing i think that which covid has told or informed or taught everyone 
is that if you want to make awareness of anything which is which is the best which pakistan introduced was through ringtones nobody in the domestic like in my house nobody used to even pronounce how to say sanitizer uh due to these ring ring tones everybody in my like you know the chokidar or anyone anyone the housewife baaji aapka sanitizer yahan pad raha hai to like you know these sanitizer things or in itni sari baatein itni sari baatein jo hame in ring tones se batayi ki aapne kya karna hai during covid times and you have to vaccinate yourself this that everybody literally remembers ki jab wo tone bajna shuru ho jati hai to they repeat it so like if you want to introduce what are the human rights or what are the basic numbers to call government should start from this level that after this covid is gone now at least they should introduce or they should at least inform people through this platform which is the best usme aap maasi se lekar the lawyer the minister everybody calls each other like ye jo ek phone hai na it's going to tell you everything ke ek aurat ke kya rights hai unko kis tarike se kahan par at least ab basic अपनी बेसिक कंप्लेन्स उनको कहाँ रजिस्टर करानी है दे शुड रिमेंबर और मेमराइज दैट नंबर पर्टिकुलरली इस तरीके से होना चाहिए कि इट शुड बी वन टू थ्री फोर किस तरीके से आपने किस नंबर पे कॉल करनी है क्या इन्फॉर्म करना है एंड हाउ कैन दे हेल्प देम ये गवर्नमेंट लेवल पे ही हो सकता है एंड आई थिंक अयाब अली और एनी वन हु इज हेयर फ्रॉम दैट गवर्नमेंट प्लेटफॉर्म इफ दे कैन सेंड दिस मैसेज टू दैट लेवल आई थिंक औरतों के लिए इट्स गोइंग टू बी वेरी कन्वीनियंट एंड ईजी that's an excellent idea or is this ko bilkul i i'll share it with the, basically it's uh, related with the uh, ministry of human rights or dusra isme jo hai wo pti aata hai but ye hai ki i'll 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 speak with both of uh, the focal persons main baat karke to i'll get back inshallah thank you so much so uh I... so i just have one question from ayab um so i have what are the what legal actions are you guys taking against like harassment or kuch is tarah kya kuch agar kisi bhi koi vakya ho jata hai so i guess we should all aware of that uh, legal action as well ke pata hona chahiye ki iski kya saza hai aur kya kis tarah se aap log usko manage karte hain dekhiye ye jo basically ab case pata chalta hai kafi sara matlab 30% ye hote hain ki kuch 30% परसेंट फेक कम्प्लेंट भी होती हैं बट नॉट ज्यादा मतलब सेवेंटी परसेंट से आप कह लें कि जेनमिन होती है हमें यही लग रहा था कि शायद ज्यादा फेक कम्प्लेंट्स आया करेंगी लेकिन ज्यादा फेक कम्प्लेंट्स नहीं आ रही ज्यादातर जेनमिन कम्प्लेंट्स आ रही अब वो जो जेनमिन कम्प्लेंट्स हैं उनको भी अब फिल्टर ऐसे करते हैं कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल जो इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफिसर होती है विच इज द फीमेल वो उस चीज़ पर इन्वेस्टिगेट करके तो उसके ऊपर ऑब्वियसली बाई द बुक ऑफ द लॉ जो लॉज लगते हैं और कोशिश यही होती है कि जो जेनवन केस हो उस पर अनबेलेबल ऑफेंस उसको उसको नॉन बेलेबल ही वो करवा के तो उसको नॉन बेलेबल ऑफेंस में डालें ताकि बेल होना मुश्किल हो जाए जस्टिस सिस्टम कोर्ट सिस्टम आप लोगों के सामने है कि मतलब बेल नॉन बेलेबल भी होगा तो बेल हो ही जाती है मतलब किसी ना किसी तरह बट हमारे एंड से इवन uh, uh, जब डी सी इस्लामाबाद ने ये चीज uh, ज्यादा हाईलाइट करना शुरू की विद लॉ इन्फोर्समेंट अदर लॉ इन्फोर्समेंट एजेंसी तो ये बात उन्होंने की कि भाई हम लोगों ने इस तरह के जेनवन केसेस जो प्रूव हो जाए उनमें हमने यही करना है कि हमने नॉन बेलेबल ऑफेंस ही लगाना है तो वी ट्राई कि उसमें जो जैसा भी केस है उसमें यह है कि कोई एक क्लॉज ऐसा डाला जाए कि वो नॉन बेलेबल हो अब फॉर एग्जाम्पल उस्मान मिर्जा केस हमारे सामने से गुजरा इस्लामाबाद में उस्मान मिर्जा पर नॉन बेलेबल ऑफेंस के ही चार्जेस लगाए गए थे बट उस्मान मिर्जा इज आउट अनफॉर्चुनेटली ठीक है और मतलब फ्रॉम अर एंड वी कैन ट्राई दिस लेकिन अब जस्टिस सिस्टम के बारे में तो अब हम कुछ ना रिमार्क्स पास कर सकते हैं और ना इस बारे में कुछ बोल सकते हैं स्पीकिंग ऑफ दिस दिस इज दिस इज अ फंडामेंटल इशू दैट आई फील क्योंकि अल्लाह का शुक्र है दैट वी आर नॉट अमंग्स दोस वेमेन राइट नाउ हु आर करेंटली गोइंग थ्रू द इशूज दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सो मेबी इट्स ईजियर सेट देन डन my my fundamental issue with raising noise and raising voices how are we once the day is over and once march has come to an end hum us aurat ke liye jo waqi mushkil mein hai hum uske baad uske liye kya kar rahe hain are we really once a woman has launched a complaint 
she's out there she's completely her her truth has come out who is there to really save her is something that i feel that needs to be practically worked upon does she have to run around herself to get the legal action done does she have to protect herself and start knocking at the doors and and does she have a safe place where she can actually go and leave her home where she's been beaten day and day out मैं एक छोटी सी चीज ऐड करूंगा कि फॉर एग्जांपल उस्मान मिर्जा केस था ना उस्मान मिर्जा केस आ, का जो वीडियोस थी वीडियोस आ, हमारे एक एसएसपी ऑपरेशंस थे उस टाइम मुस्तफा तनवीर ना उनके ट्विटर के डीएम में वो वीडियोस आ गई वायरल होने से पहले की बात है वो वीडियोस आ गई और उस्मान मिर्जा की जब वो वीडियोज देखी गई ना तो उस पर बैठ के यही डिसीजन हुआ कि ये लड़की सामने नहीं आ सकती जब वो लड़की सामने नहीं आ सकती तो फिर स्टेट ने डिसाइड किया कि स्टेट खुद उसका केस फाइल करेगी तो दिस हैपेंस लेकिन अनफॉर्चुनेटली मैं इसको यही कहता हूँ कि ये दिस इज दिस इज वेरी रॉन्ग इन आर सोसाइटी के डिजिटल मीडिया के आने से फायदा तो हुआ है लेकिन ये है कि उसको उस तरह से नहीं कि जब तक कोई चीज वायरल नहीं होती हमारी अथॉरिटी एक्शन नहीं लेती जबकि हम लोग अपने एंड से यही ट्राई करते हैं कि जो अपनी आइडेंटिटी नहीं रिवील करना चाह रही है उसका स्टेट काउंसिल बना के स्टेट उसके खिलाफ जो है कल्प्रेट के खिलाफ जो है वो खड़ी होकर स्टेट एक्शन ले वी ट्राई दिस बट वही बात है फिर कि इस चीज की भी अवेयरनेस की जरूरत है कि जब मतलब फॉर एग्जांपल अब हमजा शफकात इज द डिप्टी कमिश्नर अगर वो यहाँ से मैं तो अक्सर ये बात करता हूँ बैठ के कि अब ही मतलब वो इन चीजों को समझते हैं इफ ही गोज देयर वो पोस्ट आउट हो जाते हैं तो नेक्स्ट डीसी आएगा क्या वो इन चीजों को स्टार्ट रखेगा क्या वो इन चीजों को कैरी ऑन करेगा जो इतनी पिछले तीन मेहनत करके हमने कंप्लेंट रिड्रेसल सिस्टम शुरू किया हमने डिजिटल मीडिया का कंप्लेंट रिड्रेसल सिस्टम शुरू किया जिससे एनोनिमस कंप्लेंट हैंडल हो जाती है क्या नेक्स्ट डीसी आके काम करेगा अब ये भी एक अलमिया है पाकिस्तान में और इन चीजों के बारे में भी जो है वो अब कुछ नहीं कह सकते कि आगे क्या होगा तो वो बात है कि अगर जो चीजें अभी प्रेजेंट में हो रही हैं और हम यही ट्राई कर सकते हैं कि वो प्रेजेंट में होती रहे इसी तरह और सॉल्व होती रहे और नॉट जस्ट के वुमेन मंथ की मार्च में होती रहे वो पूरा ईयर इसी तरह होती रहे लेकिन आगे के बारे में यहाँ तो वही बात है कि वी आर वेरी होपलेस कि आगे क्या होगा बात हमारी माइंड पे आके खत्म हो जाती है कॉन्सेप्ट पे आके खत्म हो जाती है कि उस चीज को लेके आगे क्या हो जाएगा यस yes. one more one more thing i want to add is, uh, i'm uh, also uh, giving the consultancy to uh, chief secretary punjab he is the biggest position of punjab to wahan se bhi in punjab aap logon ke paas koi ideas ho jo punjab mein kiye ja sakte ho to feel free to contact me wahan pe bhi hum establish kara sakte hain kuch bhi aisa ho aap log apne ideas de sakte hain punjab is a big province largest province of pakistan and chief secretary is the largest position to also will things to main unse baat kar sakta hu ki wahan pe करना हो तो हम वहां पे भी कर सकते हैं तो तो सिस्टम का पार्ट नहीं होना चाहिए जो अभी आप बता रहे थे कि नेक्स्ट डीसी आएगा सो इट विल बी चेंज सिस्टम का पार्ट बन जाता है लेकिन मसला यही होता है कि पता है वो इशू यहाँ पे ये होता है कि नेक्स्ट वाले की प्रायोरिटीज शायद ये ना हो उसकी प्रायोरिटीज कुछ और हो यहाँ पे ये मसला है कि अब उसकी उसकी प्रायोरिटी ये नहीं होगी जबरदस्ती हम उससे इस चीज को कैरी ऑन नहीं करा सकते वो सिस्टम उसी तरह पढ़े 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 उस पर फोकस नहीं होगा ना तो यहाँ पे सरकारी मशीनरी का यही होता है कि वो महीने डेढ़ दो बाद वो बिल्कुल जंग लग जाता है वो यूजलेस हो जाती है अगर उसको छेड़ा ना जाए तो यहाँ पे चीज को फॉलो अप रखना बहुत जरूरी होती है हम बैठे हुए हैं तो हम फॉलो अप रख रहे हैं लेकिन नेक्स्ट वन आके अगर वो यहाँ से लेडीज काउंटर खत्म कर देता है लेडीज फैसिलिटेशन खत्म कर देता है उस पर फोकस नहीं करता तो वहाँ पे वो अटेंडेंस नहीं बंद कर देगी वहां नहीं बंद कर देगी सिस्टम का जी जी बिल्कुल बस ये सिस्टम का फ्लॉ यहाँ आएगा हम लोग जो आज इतनी सारी बातें कर रहे हैं इसमें थोड़ा सा हम अगर इसको कंक्लूजन की तरफ भी लेके जाएं तो आ, जितनी भी औरतें हैं उनके जितने भी राइट्स हैं उनका सबसे जो हम मोहरत मार्च कर रहे हैं और हम बात आज भी कर रहे हैं जब तक ये ऑन पेपर नहीं आएगा और जब तक सिस्टम प्रॉपरली इसको फॉलो नहीं करेगा या जब तक इसको प्रॉपरली ये ऑथराइज नहीं होगा कि जैसे अब अगर कोई किसी को मार देता है या कत्ल हो जाता है तो उसके बाद उसको फांसी मिलेगी डेफिनेटली अगर वो प्रूफ हो जाता है सो जब तक ऐसी कोई सजा नहीं आएगी हमारे सिस्टम के थ्रू कि ये सब होगा तो ये होगा तो डेफिनेटली फिर ये तो होता ही रहेगा और हम सब भी बात करते ही रहेंगे
I would like to add one more thing before I leave. Um, I, uh, because I'm a mom of four, and uh, um, before I came to I get into the, this meeting, I received uh, a proposition to become candidate to the next elections. I want to, to tell you that a woman, uh, we, we talk about women empowerment, but we cannot go from an extreme to another extreme. And uh, we should know that at the end of the day, we are mothers. And, uh, and uh, if I am a mother, I have a responsibility. And some things I cannot do, not because my father or my brother or my husband don't allow me to do, but because of my responsibilities. And, my, and family is a responsibility. I am not with the women who work till 7 and 8 p.m. and leave their kids alone to study alone or with somebody else. Because uh, we work with families, we had families, and society is uh, families are the pillars of society. If the mom cannot raise well their children, they are the, the, the future generation. I have four boys. I need to, to be next to them so they don't get spoiled, so they, they learn what, uh, what is no is no, etc., like Fatima said. And uh, at the end, I am raising the next generation. Fatima is raising the next generation. I don't know uh, among you who who else is a mom. So I I, I am not till the end that, uh, with the women empowerment when women um, make uh, sacrifices uh, uh, with their families, with their children, because raising a family, raising a children is part of our role and is one of the most important roles uh, we have. So this is what I wanted to, to, to conclude with. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Ali, can I just add one small thing? Yeah, because you were talking about harassment and now both of them have mentioned they're raising boys. So I would just like to say that aware, creating awareness amongst young boys about harassment is equally important when you talk about raising young girls as well. Because last year I was dealing with child abuse cases and most of them were young boys around, you can say, six to nine years. And the majority of the cases that came forth were for young boys. And then young boys are shamed amongst their own uh, uh, own age fellows as well because it's considered embarrassing for them to come forth and tell their parents, teachers or even when they bring about the case. So I think it's equally important and on some level it is more difficult for young boys to come forth than it is for young female to come forth because now it's spoken about so much that girls are a bit, a bit more confident to talk about it than men are. It's considered embarrassing in our society or less manly if men talk about being harassed. So I think that's something that is very important to focus on as well when you talk about harassment. Okay, so um, I think I'll have a broader perspective on this because um, when as a brand or a marketplace, we we promote inclusion from everyone, right? So uh, when you talk we, when we talk about inclusion, that means we have different races, we have different religions that are uh, that are present in our country as well as to the uh, to other countries that we are promoting or our products to, right? So when you're when a designer is promoting a product, it, it is catered not just to the Pakistani audience, but people living in India, people living in Sri Lanka, in Bangladesh, and they're not Muslims. They don't have the same cultural values that we have, right? So um, just, uh, and we cannot impose our culture. We cannot impose our, um, you know, um, our ethics, our, uh, our ways of dressing or our own values on anyone else. So inclusion is very important whenever, okay, so, and, and if you turn that around, if Kate Winslet or, um, Kate, sorry, uh, uh, 
people in UK or somewhere like celebrities from UK wear our Pakistani clothes. Even in PSL, the anchor who's wearing Pakistani clothes, and it's like so applauded by you know Pakistani people that wow, oh my God, you know she's wearing, she's the anchor and she's the uh, Miss World and whatnot, and she's wearing Pakistani clothes. She's being celebrated, but vice versa, it's being frowned upon. So I I think. If when when we talk about inclusion, we should not like you know limit ourselves to some things that are acceptable and then some things that are not acceptable. Inclusion means uh, we accept every um, kind of race, we accept every kind of um, religion, their values, their um, their uh, ethics, the the way they dress. So I think um, when we are um, you know catering to a global clientele, um, we should have our open minds. Fashion means, you know, fashion is different for everyone. This is Anya here. Am I audible to you? Okay, that's great. Uh, this is Danya here. I am, and I am currently uh, working in Ravla Court, Kashmir. Um, I have heard all the session, but I want to start um, to discuss uh, one of a very small story. You can say, I'm. I was sitting in a gathering, and there was a uh, three years old uh, child, male child, and he, uh, one of his popo, uh, she uh, is appreciating him uh, for. Uh, uh, slapping uh, because वो जो छोटा बच्चा है उसने अपनी two and a half year या two years की बहन को मारा है slap किया है सबके सामने because uh, of the fact के ये छोटी बच्ची male members में एक gathering थी वहाँ पे क्या कर रही है तो वो फुपो उसने सबको appreciate कर रही एक चीज जो मैं बिकॉज आई हैव वर्क इन इस्लामाबाद फॉर मेनी इयर्स एंड करंटली आई एम वर्किंग इन अ रिमोट रीजन तो इस फैक्ट से हम इनकार नहीं कर सकते कि पाकिस्तान में बहुत ज्यादा कम्युनिटी ऐसी है जो विलेज में या रिमोट रीजन में रहती है एक बहुत प्रॉब्लम और एक बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज जो मुझे अपनी प्रोफेशनल फील्ड में आया वो मेल से नहीं आया वो फीमेल से आया है डू वे रेली थिंक रियली सपोर्टिंग द फीमेल्स ऑफ दिस सोसाइटी मैं घर से निकल रही हूँ तो मेरी मदर है मेरी सिस्टर है आई हैव फुपो आई हैव माय मेनी ऑफ द फीमेल रिलेटिव्स सबसे ज्यादा फीयर्स एक फीमेल के अंदर जो डालता है डालती है इस सोसाइटी में वो खुद फीमेल्स डालती हैं हम मेल्स को तो सिस्टम को तो बहुत ज्यादा क्रिटिसाइज करते हैं कि हमें ये प्रॉब्लम है हमें वो प्रॉब्लम है लेकिन इंडिविजुअली ग्रास रूट लेवल पे इस वक्त हमारे पास जो गाँव में क्योंकि शहर की लाइफ बिल्कुल डिफरेंट है मैंने वो भी देखी है नाउ आई एम वर्किंग इन अ विलेज तो यहाँ की लाइफ बहुत डिफरेंट है आपके मेल्स के नेरेटिव्स कौन बना रहा है सिस्टम से ज्यादा उसके नेरेटिव्स उसकी माँ बना रही है उसकी बहन बना रही है उसके इर्द गिर्द रहने वाली फीमेल्स हैं क्योंकि मेल्स आर रियली डिपेंडेंट ऑन द फीमेल्स ऑफ दिस सोसाइटी ये कलेक्टिविस्टिक कल्चर है और इसमें हम मिलकर काम कर रहे हैं तो यहाँ पर एक चीज जहाँ पर हम बात करें कि मेल्स को हमें सपोर्ट करने की जरूरत है वहां पे वी रियली नीड अ जेनुअन सपोर्ट फ्रॉम द फीमेल्स ऑफ दिस सोसाइटी बिकॉज जेलसी रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम्स कंपटीशन रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम्स आपके पास रिश्ता देखने मेल्स नहीं जाते फीमेल्स जाते हैं और नेरेटिव के कौन बना रहे हैं नेरेटिव द फीमेल्स ऑफ दिस सोसाइटी मेकिंग दिस सोसाइटी एंड इस इस चीज को हम निगलेक्ट नहीं कर सकते सो so, हमें ऐसे भी प्रोजेक्ट्स पे काम करने की जरूरत है बिकॉज आई एम वर्किंग ऑन मेनी प्रोजेक्ट्स है जिसमें मैं यहाँ पे वाकई फीमेल्स को ये सिखा रही हूँ और मैं मुख्त फॉरम्स पे बात करती हूँ कि स्टैंड फॉर योर फीमेल्स उनके राइट्स के लिए बोलने से पहले के लिए जरूरी है कि आप वाकई एक्नोलेज करें कि आपकी फीमेल्स जरूरी नहीं है कि वो किसी गलत पर्पज के लिए बाहर निकलती है क्योंकि सबसे ज्यादा फीमेल्स ही क्रिटिसाइज करती हैं लेट से रेप हो रहा है रेप है या डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस का केस है तो उसमें अगर है तो सास की ही कहीं ना कहीं शेयर है जिस पे बेटा ये काम कर रहा है अपनी बहन की शेयर पे भाई ये काम कर रहा है कि अपनी बीवी को मार रहा है तो ये हमें थोड़ा सा समझने की जरूरत है और ऐसे प्रोजेक्ट्स भी हमें सिर्फ शहरों की हद तक नहीं गाँव में भी लाने की जरूरत है जिसमें हम फीमेल्स को ये भी सिखा सकें कि जो आपके पास यू है बहुत सी ऐसी फीमेल्स हैं जो एफ एस सी मैट्रिक लेवल से आगे पढ़ ही नहीं रही क्योंकि उनको उनके पास रोल मॉडल्स नहीं है दे डोंट नो हाउ हाउ टू एक्सेल इन वेरियस फील्ड्स 
तो ये कौन उन्हें बताएगा हम फीमेल्स हैं जो कि उनको बता सकती हैं तो मेरे ख्याल से अगर आप में से आ, कोई वहां शहर में काम कर रहा है तो जरूर अपने गांव में जहां से आप लोग आए हैं कि आप हम सब लोग रिमोट एरिया से आए हैं और हम माइग्रेट होकर आए वो जो वाकई शहर में रहे हैं उनकी कहीं ना कहीं बेस जो बेस है वो गाँव से जरूर है तो वहां पर जाके अपनी फीमेल्स को जरूर देखें कि फीमेल फीमेल की दुश्मन कैसे है दैट्स ऑल बाई माई साइड थैंक यू I guess it's not about male or a female. It's about a mindset, which we all live in, right? So, uh, if uh, my mother is saying something to me, that definitely, she will face it. Some things, 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 Now I guess the जो चीज है वो सब बदल रही है द सोसाइटी इज चेंजिंग बिकॉज नाउ फादर फादर वी कैन ईजिली टॉक टू आर फादर्स बट वेन आई आस्क माई मदर कि उनको क्या वो अपने फादर से इस तरह बात कर सकती थी तो वो नहीं कर पाती थी डेफिनेटली क्योंकि वो उस टाइम पे वो माइंड सेट ही ऐसा था तो हम भी प्रोग्रेशन की तरफ जा रहे हैं एंड देन and now i am a mother and next generation jo hamari aayegi to definitely we will see a lot of like change in our society padhe likhe log aage aayenge pehle to females ko padhaye ne padhne hi nahi diya jata tha when i started uh, uh, my uh, academics to my father said to me that uh, you have only two options engineering or a doctor if you if you want to be a doctor to doctor ban jaye ya bete aap engineering kar le i opted for textiles i am a textile designer by profession so when i uh, when uh, i said to my father that i want to join nca so there was a big no from all of them especially from my dadi she said why why textile ye to hamare gaon mein ye log ye kaam karte hain to why you want to be a textile designer so bahut sare aise cheeze hain lekin unko manana pada fir unko batana pada now i am a textile i'm a, success, a successful textile designer i'm an educationist as well but definitely it's a mindset and uh, hum sab milke hi isko change kar sakte hain aur isme koi male ya female ki galti nahi hai because humne wo jab female jo hai na that is a supporting system for everyone right so hum jab hum pe jab pressure aata hai to definitely hum us pressure ko kahin na kahin release karte hain aur fir राइट और रॉन्ग में हमें किसी ने बताया नहीं ना क्या गलत है क्या सही है कभी चाहे वो मेल हो या फीमेल हो तो हमें वो जिस प्रेशर में वो बड़े हुए हैं वो प्रेशर वो हम पे इम्प्लीमेंट करते हैं सो आई गेस दैट इज द इशू बट वी कैन कवर इट अप आई वुड लाइक टू एड वन लिटिल थिंग आई थिंक वी कैन प्रोवाइड ऑल काइंड ऑफ यू नो अवेयरनेस एंड एवरीथिंग बट आई थिंक इन आर ओन कैपेसिटी वी शुड लीड बाय एग्जाम्पल because at the end of the day actions matter way more than anything we say you have to uh, you know lead your by example you have to set the right values and set the right standards within your family so that other people can follow it you have to you know make a path 